You heard the results live on our air at 5 o'clock. Five samples taken from Rockford's water system have come back negative for E. coli. And we have been telling you about an equipment failure that led to that contamination. This situation also got us thinking about how does the water we drink get to the tap? What safeguards are in place to make sure it's safe? 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergie is here with that story. Brian, the city of Wyoming supplies close to a quarter million customers in over a dozen communities with fresh drinking water. Today, they're allowing us to take you inside the filtration plant near the Lake Michigan shoreline to give you an inside look at how things get done. It's a process that goes well beyond testing a beaker full of water and calling it good. Jerry Karen is superintendent at Wyoming's water treatment plant. I'm a consumer just like everybody else, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to put anything out that I would, wouldn't be willing to drink myself. In Rockford, the water comes from wells. Mother Nature is already taking care of the first step in the filtration process. But water for Wyoming, Grand Rapids, and other West Michigan cities comes from Lake Michigan. Wyoming alone runs, on average, 35 million gallons of water a day through a series of mechanical and chemical processes to make it drinkable. These three trains here can do 90 million gallons of pretreatment. Followed by more tests and more treatment before it's piped 26 miles east to the city of Wyoming. Well, this is the area that we are monitoring to make sure things are, are correct in our, in our process. The control room monitors the process, including chlorinators, like the ones that cause problems in Rockford. If something goes wrong, yeah. something's going to light up here. Yeah, if something, if we have a parameter that, that or something that's a high tank alarm or a low tank, we'll actually get, this, the SCADA system will actually alarm us and tell us. Pressure in the transmission line from the treatment plant as well as distribution lines and the water levels in tanks in the city and communities that buy from Wyoming are monitored constantly. A drop in pressure indicating a break in the line which could allow bacteria in the water. Samples are taken on a daily basis from various sites in the distribution system and tested in the lab to make sure there aren't any problems. We have to make sure it's good when it leaves here and we have to make sure it's good when you open your tap. We talked to officials at the Grand Rapids Water Plant, which serves about 265,000 people in 10 communities. They tell us they follow many of the same procedures.